Hi guys, welcome to Alcan ADV. I'm your host, Liam Berry. Today we're going to talk about budget for a long distance motorcycle trip. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. There's plenty of really good videos on YouTube here uh, about that. Uh, what we're going to go into today is what I'm doing and how I came to that conclusion. Anyway, we'll get into that right after this. So my budget for this trip is split into four categories, well, five in a way. Uh, first we have lodging, next is food, whatever I'm going to eat on the trip, then we have gas, and then the fourth thing is motorcycle maintenance, whatever I have to do to the bike while I'm on the road. The fifth category that I have here uh, is not quite a category, it's something a little bit outside of, of the other four, it's an emergency fund, and uh, I'll get get to that in a little, little bit, but that's money that I don't plan on spending on the trip. That's just there in case of uh, something unexpected occurring. So we'll go into these one at a time. Uh, the first, we have lodging. Uh, what I did is I'm going to be gone for 60 days, and so I split it up by day. I have $20 a night for lodging. That's just over the course of the whole trip. I'm going to be sleeping uh, in free campgrounds free campsites a lot, I hope, and this will mitigate uh, some of that cost. Why I picked $20 a night is because most of the state parks and, and campgrounds that you'll find uh, are 20 bucks a night. So uh, if nothing else, if I have to pay for a campground, uh, I'll just be breaking even. I will throw in a hotel here and there probably. Um, very few, but a couple. What I'll do is as many nights as I sleep for free, that it just stays in that, that same account towards lodging. And so if I do um, decide I want to get a room, uh, that's where it's coming from. Also, I may not get a hotel. Maybe I'll just go to a, a KOA or a fancier campground, something that will have showers, you know, laundry, and something that I can kind of stop and rest a little bit and get back on the road. That brings us to food. Uh, what I've got going for the food here kind of morphed a little bit. What I started out as was, well, I figured $5 a meal. And so uh, I gave myself $15 a day uh, for food. I didn't want to scrimp that hard. Uh, I want to have a little bit of leeway, not a whole lot. I'm pretty sure I could do that, but I didn't want to have to. And so what I did was I just gave it an extra $5. I'm counting $20 a day for my eating expenses. Uh, what this gives me is $5 a meal and then $5 for something else that may not be in the menu for that day but some other food related thing that maybe I'll be spreading out over a few meals or something. Uh, and also just a little bit of leeway uh, in case I want to splurge on whatever meal I do have. Uh, I will be eating out, possibly, uh, very rarely but it's all gonna come out of that. So whatever I have for dinner or lunch, uh, it's gotta fit into that $20. Anyway, that's what I've got for food. The next thing is gas, and this is kind of a non-negotiable uh, subject. My bike gets about 45, 48, I have gotten 50, but uh, more like 45 or 48 miles to the gallon, and I'm running it right around town here. Uh, once I get on the highway, I'll have two, two more factors to consider. One, I'll be loaded down. I will have an incredible amount of gear on me, probably another 80 pounds, maybe even 100 pounds. Uh, I hope not, but that's the reality of it. And secondly, I will be doing highway miles. So this works the opposite. Uh, I will be, if I was the same weight, my gas mileage would go up because I'm doing just highway. So I will be interested to figure out uh, what ratio this is going to have. Uh, my, the detriment of all the weight and the added benefit of all the highway miles. I'm thinking 50 uh, miles to the gallon should work pretty well and I'm thinking it's a, it's a reasonable uh, guess at this point. So what I did is I budgeted for 40 miles to the gallon. That gives me an incredible uh, slack here that uh, hopefully I won't have to use. So there's three things to consider when you're doing gas miles. One is what your bike gets miles to the gallon, how many miles you're going to go, and how much that gas is per gallon. On the mileage I'm going to go, I'm going somewhere around 17.5, uh, I rounded up to 18,000 miles. 
40 miles to the gallon, and uh, I think I budgeted for $4 a gallon. Um, I know a lot of places in the U.S. it's not going to be anywhere close to that, uh, but also in Canada, especially going up the Alcan, you can get upwards of $5 a gallon, and I didn't want to take any chances. So all this rounded out for gas, correct me if I'm wrong here, I'm going off the top of my head, but I budgeted, I believe it was $1,800 for gas for this trip. Um, I think that was a mistake, and the next time I figured it out it was 12 but I'm going with the 18 because uh, that way it just gives me a big leeway here, um, either if I want to do more miles or if I want to uh, just have a bigger margin of, uh, of ease and, and comfort and not having to worry about it. brings us to the fourth category which is motorcycle maintenance. Uh, now this is something that is different for different people, especially different bikes. Uh, but for my bike, there's not a lot of maintenance I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be changing the tires. I expect once during the trip at some point in the middle, um, more or less. Uh, I'll be doing a few oil changes and I'll probably replace the brake pad at some point. That's about it. Uh, unless something breaks, which I don't expect. Um, that's about the maintenance I've got. So I'm running Shinko 804, 805s right now. Uh, when I replace those, I'll probably be going with the 705s. If the 804, 805s last long enough, uh, I might just replace them with the same thing. So I'm budgeting $200 for a set of tires. Uh, the, the 705s are going to be a little less than that. The 804, 805s are a little higher, but that's a good medium. Um, I'll also need tubes. And, and that'll bump it up a little bit. I'll probably put in 225 or so uh, for, for two, maybe even 250. So there's tires, oil changes, um, you know, two quarts and a filter isn't all that bad. And, uh, and then brake pads, I may replace the brake pads. Right now my brakes are, are all right and uh, we'll just see how that goes during the trip. So there's another, call it $300. Um, the last thing I want to cover is an emergency fund. Uh, what I have is a thousand dollars that I'm going to set aside and uh, and not touch basically over the trip and hope I don't have to. Uh, but I want it there in case something unforeseen happens and I need uh, either a plane ticket home, say uh, you know I crash and maybe I'm fine but the bike's total now I can't get home. Um, if I have to repair the bike extensively uh, or you know, if something happens to me and I have to get medical work, that's about the sum total of what I would be willing to spend that money on. Uh, the only other thing I can think of would be stranded somewhere by weather or by uh, something else. Maybe I have to work on the bike and, and I have to stay somewhere a few extra days or even a week. Uh, then I would have a little buffer of money to be able to pull out of that. So all this adds up to, well, don't quote me, but adds up to about $5,000. I have $1,200 for food, $1,200 for lodging, uh, that's at $20 a day each, $1,800 for uh, gas, that's like $4,200, so there's the $4,200, then tires. After that I have a little extra buffer to be able to uh, give myself a little bit of relaxation. I don't want to have an absolute two to penny uh, budget. So I'm giving myself about $400. Uh, of leeway here and I may bump that up a little bit hopefully um, I don't expect to spend all of my gas money so whatever of that I'm going to kind of be able to lump in I am wary of taking uh, you know a few hundred dollars and just saying oh that's not gas anymore that's gonna be in for uh, you know souvenirs or, or if I want to buy somebody lunch or something um, but as I am on the trip I'm going to figure the gas out a little bit better and so I'll have a better idea of um, what actual mileage I'll get, um, gas prices and all that and I'll have a better, uh, I'll have more experience to uh, quantify my, my decision on that so I might change that a little bit. Anyway, the 5000 is my budget uh, for this trip and I might bump that up a little bit but not by much and then I have $1000 uh, set aside in an emergency fund. Anyway, that's what I'm taking as far as money goes, and uh, that's about it. If you guys have uh, 
something to add to this, uh, questions or comments or especially tips, I would love to hear from you. I'm, I'm always learning on this stuff and uh, some of you guys have been really helpful. Anyway, we'll talk to you next week and until then, you guys ride safe.